Okay, so here is another example of a free body diagram exercise. A woman stands in an elevator that is accelerating upward, accelerating upward. Draw a free body diagram for her. Okay, so there she is. And um, the first step is you replace her with a center of mass uh, diagram. Okay? which is just a circle with the cross inside. That's the center of mass. And now, what are all the forces acting on her? Not what are the forces that she is exerting on the environment, but what are the forces acting on her from the environment? Well, we know that the obvious one, well, they're all obvious, I guess, is the floor acting on her upwards, right? So, floor contact c is for contact and then floor on woman okay and we draw the arrow upwards and we have selected um this is our x axis or our axis and up is positive and then we've also got a, a a field a gravitational field force a gravitational force and it is earth on the woman f g e w and it is acting down. And in this case, there is an acceleration up. Okay. Um, now, what should these, the lengths of these arrows be, these vector arrows? Well, because there's an acceleration up, this vector has to be longer than that vector. The, the size, the length of it has to be longer. Because the net force or the vector sum of these two forces must have a an upward resultant there must be a an a, a resultant upward or net force acting up in order for there to be an ex, an upwards acceleration okay so practice these and and, and uh, get better at them